Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogulz Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixno Kogulz. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogulz Industry Spy Network and the Kogulz Nation. Today, in the second of three videos of this series, I will be teaching you how to install and optimize Fedora for gaming. Now, if you wanted a pre-configured Fedora and don't want to have to go through most of the configuration yourself, then I would recommend using Nobara Project, which is a project made by Glorious Eggroll, who is a Red Hat engineer. Yes, Fedora is also Red Hat based. That said, I will head to the activities thing here and under install a hard drive, I will be installing Fedora 37. I'm using Fedora Workstation 37. There is also a games workstation as well. So if you want to use that, go right ahead. That said, we should be able to have English United States. We will continue with that. And the time and date is correct. The keyboard is correct. We need to ensure our disk is correct. Storage configuration checked. Okay. Now we can begin the installation of Fedora. Now do keep in mind, this will use the GNOME desktop environment. With Mint, because I already had Mint on my hard drive, just in case I needed to do something, especially virtual machines with Mint or any other distribution, Mint, the version I have, is the Cinnamon version of Mint. But you could have also used XFCE or any other version that is already made. There is even one guy that decided to do tile managing, I kid you not, tile window managing in Mint. That's kind of cool. But we are installing the software now for Fedora. This is essentially for those that wanted a different distribution other than Mint or anything Ubuntu based for some odd reason. This is a good middle ground between the two. The packages are stable, but they are also the latest version of whatever software you could think of. It's a good mix between the two. Now, while that's installing, I will need to bring up a guide real quick. There is a guide by Tech Hut that I will link in the description below, or have my editor do that, because my editor does most of this stuff for me. I'll need to find that, and I'll be right back with you in just a minute. Also, once this thing is done. And now that the installation of the door is complete, we will finish the installation, reboot our machine, and, oh, I need to go up here. Yeah, I need to go up here. That's pretty silly of me. I will reset it, and then it will probably have me remove the drive and whatnot. And that'll, yeah, that's probably all wrong, but that's okay, because I give no rips. That said, this is Fedora. So this is my first time using Fedora 37. Plus it is on a virtual machine, no and no. I don't want that for privacy purposes. We can enable the third party repositories, which will probably end up being the, I think the RPM Fusion repositories, the Snap repositories, the, and I think the flat packs. I'm not entirely sure though. And you can also choose if you want an online account added. So I don't want that. I'll place this in, do doig. I'm not gonna do an enterprise login, don't need that. Then I'll make a strong and complicated password. There we go. Now we are done with Fedora. So here it is in all of its glory. Now this does use the GNOME desktop environment. And there are a couple things you'll wanna do. First things first, We'll hit Control Alt and T. I said we'll bring up Control Alt and T. Or is it Control Shift and T? No. So then, how can I just do a terminal? If I can do it right. Here's the terminal, apparently. Anyway, so the first things first, we'll do sudo nano. Nano is a text editor used in the 
CLI or the command line interface, then do etc dnf, dnf is your package manager for Fedora or anything Red Hat based, it actually piggybacks off of yum. And then we'll do dnf.com. It is a configuration file. Obviously, our strong and complicated password, which people don't see. Now, all of this is fine, but there are some other things you'll want to do. The GPG check. Mm, I haven't seen this one before. First, though, we will do fastest mirror equals true. That part should be fine. I don't see max parallel downloads, so I will add that in. Underscore parallel underscore downloads equals, for my situation, I'll do three for the time being. Nice conservative number. Default, yes, will be equal to true. And keep cache will also be set to true. Now, all you have to do is, as you can see, control O to write into it, hit enter, control X to exit DNF. Let's clear this real quick. And then what we'll do is a quick sudo dnf clean db cache or sudo dnf clean all. So we'll just do that. No files have been removed. Next step, we will have sudo dnf update. This process is going to take a while. Luckily, we will be using the fastest mirror here, so we should be good on that front. I will be right back once everything is installed. Now that your system is updated, you'll want to reboot your machine and log in again. But you'll notice, you see, you're actually on Wayland. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, just use Xorg for the time being until NVIDIA decides to get their chops together. That said, we will enter our strong and complicated password inside of the login screen and then go into Fedora. The first things first to do after your update is to bring up another terminal and type in sudo dnf, if I can do it right, group update which will update a specific group of repositories and we'll be updating the core repositories. Enter our strong and complicated password. And the metadata has already been checked for me because I did a previous take where I had messed something up. And I believe it is a different step. I had actually passed one as well. We will also be changing the, the host name of our machine so that would be sudo host name ctl. I'm looking down on my phone here for some notes. Then I'll have set host name and then whatever it is. It will be in parentheses. So for example, I'll do doig dash vm. And just like that, the host name has now been set. The next step is to install the multimedia codex. And it's a pretty long command. Let me bring my phone closer to do this. We'll do sudo dnf group update multimedia. And then this is where I messed up. Set op equals, in quotation marks, install, underscore, weak, underscore, depths, equals false. And then exclude equals package, if I can get it right, git, 
gstreamer dash plugin. So it is quite a long command. This will update our multimedia stuff. I will type yes, just in case. This will type in all of that. And then we'll do a quick sudo dnf group update sound dash and dash video. This will update the sound and video repositories as well. So that part's done. Now what you need to do, let's see if I can get this right, because this is my first time doing this in Fedora. I will head to my settings. And I want to find, is it under appearance? There's something that I want to find that turns off the desktop compositing. Doesn't look like I can. Okay, double checked. Now we'll do a quick sudo dnf install after all of that's done. Then we will install the following, wine, Lutris, Steam, the full command is sudo dnf install wine, Lutris, Steam, and game mode. Now I'm not going to be doing this on the virtual machine because why would I want a game in a virtual machine? But this is what you would do if you're using Fedora bare metal. And if done right, that should be everything for any Fedora based distribution. Now in terms of Nobara project in which I had mentioned earlier in the video. That is primarily because it is already pre-configured and does pretty well out of the box. Even though it's an official build with GNOME, it's not a big deal for me. I have used it before and it's actually fantastic for gaming, especially with many of the changes that were made. By the way, one quick tip, I'll go into the terminal do quick sudo nano, and then if I'm not mistaken, etc default, and then grub. If I am not mistaken, I will enter my strong and complicated password, go into there. Now right here, RHGB quiet, something to do with NVIDIA. I forgot what it was off the top of my head, but that command will be on the bottom of your screen now. Should be good in that front. And as long as you have everything set up properly in Fedora, you should enjoy a pretty good experience on gaming with a Red Hat distribution. But that will be it for today's video. If you would like to see more in the future, like this or primarily gaming, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Koyos Nation, hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Koyos Nation, Hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific time. You can also comment on all of our videos. All videos are open for comments. And last but not least, you can share this channel with your family and friends. That being said, I am out of time for today's video. Thank you and good night.